Back in my 20s, when I, when I first became a, a science teacher, I was just thinking about the first time. Uh, at that time, um, uh, evolution was introduced in year nine in British schools. Now, that would be the equivalent of, I think it's the equivalent of grade eight uh, here in, in uh, the United States. So, uh, high school would begin at uh, the British year seven. So the year nine would be about the third year of teaching. So they'd have a, f a couple of years of introduction. And uh, year nine was uh, the ages 13 to 14. And the first class that I'd taken all the way through, that I'd taught from year seven all the way through, so they got to year nine, I'd gone through the whole process of making sure that they knew about developing hypotheses, criticizing things, not taking things for granted, but knowing how to plan experiments and so on. And then it came to year nine. And of course, in the curriculum, I had to introduce evolution to them. So I introduced, you know, that there was this theory that people, some people had about how animals had developed and the class fell about laughing. <laughs> I didn't really need to do a great deal. Do people really believe that, sir? Wow. I, I mean, how, how strange can it be? Where have they observed this? Which is a key question. Where have they observed these things happening? And of course, the point is that we're not convinced by it. They knew the scientific processes to be able to criticize things. And that is the key to good science teaching and good science education, in so my opinion. So this wasn't you talking talking about creation, trying to get them to believe this, and then showing evolution and them laughing. This is you just simply teaching what good science is and how to do it. And when they came across the concept, the hypothesis yes. of evolution, they ridiculed it. And they the, could see right yes. through the, And the, the fact point. that they knew that they wow. were allowed to do so, that they were not allowed to get out of hand and be wow. disobedient, but they were allowed to criticize things scientifically.